Thank you, Gwen. A notorious D.C. area prison is back in the spotlight thanks to a new documentary. Lorton Prison of Terror uses firsthand accounts of life inside to illustrate the prison complex's long and dark history. Tonight, the film will be screened at Prince George's Community College. And this morning, we're joined by the event host, Prince George's County Council Member Calvin Hawkins, along with the filmmakers Kareem Moat, Aon Williams, and Sean Branch. And gentlemen, welcome to all of you. Thank you. I want to start by talking about the film, Kareem. Why did you decide to make this, doc this documentary? Um, it, I think it was important because of the, the history of Lorton and the, kind of connected to the community in D.C. Mm -hmm. So many people in D.C. went through Lorton, unfortunately. So I think it was important that we capture the history of it and to show what Lawton was, was really like. And so in doing this, is it for the family members to, sh to see what their loved ones went through? Or was it really more of a cathartic thing for you to talk about perhaps experiences? Actually, it was both. Yeah. It was definitely for the families to, to actually get the experience of what their family members went through to go on the inside as opposed to being on the outside looking in. Mm. So we took it from the inside so they could see what, what it was like from the inside looking out. And it was also, like you say, it was cathartic for me, too, because mm -hmm. I wanted to kind of kind of release that, that yeah. feeling of me being in there. And to, now that I'm, a, I'm free, yeah. I could just put it out to the world and say, look, I'm a free man now. So this is what we experienced, and this is what Lawton was like. I know you two are co-producers. Why did you want to get involved? In all actuality, I do a lot of writing from Lawton Letters to other books, mm -hmm. and uh, Kareem has been doing film, and uh, actually he's the same person that got me into writing and different things when mm -hmm. we was in prison, so it was just a way for us to be able to work together. And you wrote an incredibly popular book that, I mean, to this day, people are still reading it. Talk a little bit about your book and how the connection Thank to Lawton. Uh, in all actuality, a lot of people, like mentors, like my man Eddie Mathis, my father, different people that went there told me things that happened in Lawton, things that wasn't just about prison, things that was about reform, education, and other things as well, and I wanted to compile all those things in the book just so happened I wrote a fiction novel now we're in a position where we could talk yeah. about something that's nonfiction and you as well wrote a book and that's your connection to this as well talk about that yeah I wrote a book money murder mayhem it was a best on Amazon I got into writing as a way of escaping you know yeah. the mental uh, uh, bondage of being in prison mm -hmm. so that was a good outlet for me in uh, getting into the film industry we, we had an idea to come up with this note and I did this documentary and here it is here it is. And Prince George's County Council Member Kevin Hawkins, you are hosting the event tonight, but yes. more than hosting it, I know that this is an issue that's near and dear to your heart because you are all about, uh, you know, re reformation. You're all about, uh, you know, people paying their dues and coming out. And you have a connection to that. Talk a little bit about that and why you're involved. I'm involved because as someone who spent five years and nine months of my life in Lawton, I was a first time incarcerant and I went there. The experience was so chilling mm. if you would and then when i had a chance to see their documentary i said we gotta spread this and i wanted to use my own experience to help them spread the word more so to deal with the crime that's impacting our community and hopefully reach some of the young people mm -hmm. and so they understand what's what happens in adult prisons and lorton is the prison or was the prison that measured all prisons so here I am to talk about it. And a lot of people probably didn't know that about you. I mean, you were the former county council chairman and you've yeah. gone on to success, but you do have this history as all of you, and yet here you stand today, successes. Uh, what do you think that says to the audience about the fact that it's not where you start, it's kind of where you end up? Well, that's what the speaker said this morning <laughs> of the house. Uh, yes, but it's really where you, it's not where you start, it's where you end up. And for me, it's an example to show people, hey, my experience like theirs mm -hmm. is something that impacts most of our families mm -hmm. and i'm not ashamed of what happened right. to me i use it to help other people whatever they are going through whatever their personal challenges are that they can overcome right. them and become a productive citizen. And I know those of you out there may not know, Calvin Hawkins is known as the people's champ by those who know and love him because he is in the community so much. I want to come back to you, gentlemen. One final word on this movie. What do you hope people take away when they see this documentary? Uh, that you can't judge a person's whole life by a mistake that they made and whatever progress that they make in the process of it, uh, I think some other people may be able to learn from it. And I'm going to jump over you real quick because I want you to have the last word. What about you, Sean? Um, well, I believe that, you know, a lot of people stereotype people in prison and yeah. Think that it's all negative. You got some positive people to come out of there to do positive things, and we we are a great testament to that. And hopefully, we could be an example for the younger ones coming up after this. And final word to you? Yeah, definitely. I want you to take from the it's an educational aspect of it and the historical aspect of it to show the reason why Lawton was built in the first place, and it's kind of ties into the whole prison system of America. So it definitely shows, like Eon said, um, that goodness right. can come from 
the ashes of, of right. being in, incarcerated. I want to put up the banner one more time. This is the information about the film. Five to eight tonight at Prince George's uh, Community College. Do you need tickets to get in? Uh, anyone that comes, we will accommodate. Okay, and of course there's a discussion afterwards so you can yes. learn more about this infamous prison and just uh, what these gentlemen have been talking about. Thank you so much for sharing a bit of yeah. your story with us. Okay. I know that, it, can we get the documentary anywhere beyond uh, these screenings? Uh, yes, you could get it on Amazon Prime. Okay. You could look, so tune in on Amazon Prime is on there. Lorton, Prison of Terror, for those of us in this area, uh, you know there have been a lot of stories that came out about this prison. Uh, go ahead and watch it, learn a little bit of history, and of course to help these gentlemen as they are trying to tell their tales. And of course uh, the road to redemption, always uh, not an easy one, but certainly can be done. Mm -hmm.